Okay, so this unit is, a, is an opening unit, as distinct from um, some others we tested with which are fixed. Uh, here you can see that the glass has already been tested, so now we're going to test the frame and the open, opening mechanism to resist forcible entry. So you can see in the foreground there uh, the test block, so that's the ovoid shape with the handle on the top that has to pass through. If they can create an opening large enough for that to pass through, then it's deemed a failure. You'll see at this point he's uh, attacking the front edge, the hinges at the back, uh, and we'll be trying to find where the weak spots are. So he's gone to a corner for this for the first test um, for the glazing vision vision vent. It's a dual uh, opening mechanism, one at each end of the roof light, which actually helps uh, achieve a higher security rating because it means with the hinge along the back and the mechanisms at the two ends, in effect all four corners of the roof light are uh, held, secured, closed. Again at this point uh, from his toolkit he's just choosing um, claw hammer, screwdrivers, anything that he can use as a lever to try and force the lid open either by breaking or damaging the frame or disengaging the actual mechanism. although there's a little bit of play in it now there's no uh, no clearance at all for anything to pass between the opening and fixed frame failed to gain access at the corner, he's now going to try in the centre of the uh, opening edge. In this instance where the mechanism's holding it shutter at the two ends, this relies on the stiffness of the actual opening frame to resist the forces. see here that because the glass is already broken, the glass is not adding any strength to this. This is all down to the frame and the resistance of the operating mechanism and the way that's secured to the base and the lead to resist. Quite a bit of force is applying there. 